so far I've behaved as if the information that Facebook stores is all entered by you. In fact, I've said as much. 700 million users all entering their own, inform own information. If Facebook had to type that in, they'd fall over because there's no way they could do all of that work. But there's a whole other realm of information behind Facebook and behind almost every large web system that you interact with. And that's the information not about you, but about what you do and about what's happening on the site and what kinds of things are going on. That information is hugely important to Facebook and all the other organizations. In fact, it's the way that they know what to do next. It's the way that they know how it's going, if things are working correctly on their site or not. And it's also the information that they provide back to advertisers to prove to the advertiser that, advertisers that it's worth using their site. So we'll go, into, we'll go into it in detail in a moment, but before I do, I want to um, uh, review a slide that I gave you in a previous lecture about the idea of your unique identifier and all the information associated with it. Um, when you use a site, uh, you type in, when you use Facebook, let's stick to Facebook, when you use Facebook, you type in a bunch of information about yourself, your status updates, your um, city of residence, all that information, that's all tied together by your ID. But there's a lot more information about you on Facebook besides what you type in. For example, what pages you visited, um, what you clicked on, all that kind of stuff. Now, Facebook may keep that connected to you for their own use. They may anonymize it, as I've said before, for other people's use, but it amounts to a huge amount of stuff. Every time you click, every time you move around on the site, all that's recorded. Okay, so this is where we've been before, the idea that there's some identifier that says it's you. And if they want to anonymize information, they don't necessarily have to take the identifier out of it. They just have to unlink that identifier, maybe use a large random number or something like that, and unlink that identifier from any personally identifiable information. PII is what they call it, personally identifying information. And if you strip out the personally identifying information, things can still be tied together by an ID, but not be tracked backable to you. Of course, somewhere, someplace, Facebook knows that that, un that, that random number is associated with you, or maybe they put in some policies where they actually delete all that information and truly anonymize the information. 